Stream joining us. Um, so excited to be here tonight um, with a now famous alum, Corey Cunningham of the Manchester Community Music School, uh, sharing this special concert with us. Um, and right here, where it all began. Um, I'm Bianca Garcia, Executive Director, and for those of you newer to the music school, uh, a little background. We were established 40 years ago, right here in the north end of Manchester, from the living room of a home, uh, where some professional uh, orchestra musicians gathered for community orchestra. Um, we are now a nationally recognized nonprofit organization and we serve over 1,500 individuals each year, both in-house and through community partnerships. We offer a variety of music education opportunities and music therapy services uh, for ages ranging six months to 90 years young. <laughs> Core to our mission um, of changing lives through the power of music is that we strive to create access and support our community in every way possible. We do this by providing a robust financial assistance program through community partnerships and through special access programs like our Queen City Music and Leadership Program. Something very unique to our programming in addition to the music education is that our faculty provides mentorship um, and it helps students not only navigate their musical journeys but also navigate through the challenges of life. Um, you may have heard Rorick speak about his uh, cello teacher Harrell uh, in this light of mentorship um, in November on New Hampshire Chronicle Television. Um, and I wanted to mention Harrell is here today, continuing to support Rorick in person. Harrell. <laughs> um, Rorick studied with Harrell for four years, um, as well as being our principal cellist um, of our Dino Anagnost Youth Symphony Orchestra of New Hampshire. Another special guest here today is Rorick's fifth grade school teacher, Gail Page. Where are you? <laughs> wow, wonderful. So with that, without further ado, uh, I'd like to please welcome Elizabeth Blood on Piano and Manchester Community Music School alum and Boston Symphony Orchestra member, Rorick Cunningham, to the stage. Thank you all very much.
can't believe how many people showed up. <laughs> I heard about it yesterday. It was a sold out show and I, the first thing that came to mind is, oh, I should have practiced more. <laughs> but no, really, I, I, I love seeing so many people. It makes sharing music so, so beautiful because it is something we share with others. And I'm just so happy that I have a place I can share it with people. Uh, this, this recital is actually kind of a test run. So I, had, uh, I have a, an opportunity to play with orchestra in five days, the Sanson Concerto, and then I was thinking, oh, how am I gonna get the nerves out? So I texted Harrell, I was like, is there any way I could play a recital here to get nerves out? And he said, say no more. <laughs> so, and so th this happened, and I decided to take an opportunity to play my concerto and also just new pieces that I haven't done before, like the Baccarini. I had never done a Baccarini, which is really unusual, I feel like. So it was my chance to do so. And the Dvorak Rondo, it's also a piece that a lot of students play, but I hadn't. I just somehow skipped it. I don't know why it's a student piece, because it's really hard. But, but no, I just, I'm so thankful to have this opportunity to play for people in preparation for, or just like playing new rep, it's a great opportunity. So thank you all for coming.